them. Of course they do. Um, only uh, 24 hours ago, News International handed over to police investigators details of payments made by the News of the World to senior police officers. Now, could all of those payments be construed as corrupt? Well, how has it only just comes out now? I mean, they've been saying since January, Mr Murdoch, when he made his public apology, they've been lying up to that, but when he made his public apology, saying, my people have been doing this, we're going to work fully with the police and provide them with all the information. All of a sudden, they've now come up, we've got clearly uh, criminal offences of an admittance to paying the police. No doubt the names of the police are on there and the people who gave it. And it's suggested in our press today that Rebecca Wade was involved in that. These are criminal acts. They can't keep going around around saying we're fully cooperating and then only give information when they think they've got to. I heard Green, uh, one of their spokesmen saying today, well, we believe this was going to come out in the press, this story, that we were withholding. So we gave it up. I mean, what kind of transparency is that? Well, I mean, you are making a, a, a pretty fundamental point there. I mean, the corrupt payments to police, I mean, the police are corrupt, but also those who give the payments potentially corrupt as well. I mean, where do you think this scandal is going to go? I mean, could it be that large numbers of people are going to end up in court facing criminal charges? Well, that's what should happen, of course. But do remember that the chief executive, Rebecca uh, Brooks again, appeared before a parliamentary committee and admitted they paid the police. She tried to withdraw it a little later after protests, I think, from Coulson. But we know that they pay the police. They've now given the evidence. So they're dragging a lot of policemen who receive payments, which is illegal. Paying them is also illegal, which the chief executive admitted to on one stage. I mean, it's not as if we're trying to guess what went on. We've got the actual statements of the people who are involved in it. And then for her to come along and say, well, I can tell you I knew nothing of that, well, that sort of shows total incompetence if it's the case. When you've got major stories like this going on in the paper and I think the News of the World at that time printed uh, a story from the Miller family uh, an exclusive story while at the same time tapping her phone how do you deal with those people of course they should be in court they should be in jail and she should have gone yesterday not today John Prescott we're uh, out of time I'm afraid we'll probably talk to you for a lot okay. longer uh, the way you're going but uh, we thank you very much for being there and hopefully we'll get a chance to talk to you again sometime thank you Watch him in Australia as well.